So next ones, identifying numbers as integers or non-integers. An integer is just a fancy math word for a whole number that can be positive, negative, or it can be zero. Whole numbers technically are only positive. By definition, if I say a whole number, I'm only talking about positive numbers. That's why they use the word integer. Integer means they could be positive or negative, or it could be zero, but it can't have that decimal or fraction at the end. So 96.23 is not going to be an integer because it has that decimal at the end. 56 eighths. Well, if I divide 8 into 56, it's 7. 7 is a nice whole number, so yes, it is an integer. 37, hopefully, you just look at that and say, yep, that's a whole number. Yes, that's an integer. 259.92, again, has that decimal at the end, not going to be a nice whole number. 13 ninths, if I divide 9 into 13, 9 goes into 13 once, but I have some left over. I have 4 ninths. So 1 and 4 ninths is not a whole number, not going to be an integer. Number eight, if I have 17 sevenths, seven does not divide into 17 evenly, not going to be an integer. However, five divides into 25, five whole times, so yes, that does simplify into an integer. 48.63 has the decimal on the end, it's not a nice whole number, it's not an integer. Negative 56 is a whole number, is an integer. Negative 30 is a whole number, is also an integer. Number 9. 45 ninths. 9 does divide into 45 five times, nice and evenly. Yes, that is an integer. 57, nice whole number, it is an integer. Negative 64.54 has that decimal on the end, not going to be an integer. Three sevenths, well seven doesn't divide into three, so nope, it's not going to be an integer. And 714 and 77 hundredths, again, has the decimal on the end, not going to be an integer. So integer means you can have a positive num whole number, a negative whole number, or it might be zero. Zero is still an integer.